You want to finally crack the code to profitable Facebook ad campaigns in 2025? Whether you're somebody who's new or someone who has spent a lot of money on Facebook ad campaigns with a little to show for it, then this is the perfect video for you and we can't afford to skip it. In today's video, I'm going to be revealing a step-by-step -step blueprint on how to launch your Facebook ad campaigns in 2025 that actually converts yes that actually converts now this is one of those old theory based courses everything i'm going to show you in today's video is what's actually happening in the market even with all the ios updates and algorithm changes i will also show you how you can use seller trend to instantly find viral products that will make ads easier and not only that but i'm also going to show you how you can use seller trends powerful ai to create scroll stopping ad copies as well as auto build laser targeted audiences without guessing or wasting your precious time i'll leave a link in the description to a 14 day free trial so you can follow along without spending a single dime so grab your notebooks silence your notification and let's jump right into it all right guys so before we get into our campaigns it is important for us to find a viral product on that viral product of course we'll later run ads right so here i am on dashboard of seller trend and the first thing i'm gonna click here is the hand pick winners now every product that is in this feature is actually sourced by any former experts so these are all the products that we think will do very well in the market in the near future right so all you need to do is to scroll down find a product that matches your store's vibe your brand of course so i'm gonna click on this product click on product research and the best part about the seller trend is it's not only used to find viral products but when the order actually comes to your store it can also help you fulfill those orders with just a single click so it's perfect very nice and simple to use now the other cool thing about seller trend is that if i actually scroll down it even gives you the facebook targeting interests as well so you can literally copy these interests or put these interests in your facebook ad campaigns and run your ads with ease that's how powerful seller trends ai actually is so to actually start up your first campaign you actually need a business account as well as an ad account now i've left some sources in the description on this video on how to create your business manager as well as your ad account so if you don't have your account set up no need to worry just check those sources out in the description of this video all right so let's head over to meta to create our very first campaign right so here we are on meta and on the campaigns right so think of campaign as the building block of your ad account right facebook actually has a hierarchy inside of it and on the top of it we have the campaigns okay so here we are and i'm going to click on create and choose a campaign objective what is it that you actually want what is your end goal do you want awareness do you want traffic engagement or do you want sales now all of that is done at the campaign level so let's go ahead and click on the sales and then continue and that's it guys our campaign is done now the other thing is you might want to edit the name of the campaign so i'm going to call it testing 101 right and then you need to turn it off and that's it guys our campaign is done now it's time for us to get into the ad sets so let's do that all right so now that we are done with our campaign it's time for us to get into the ad set level remember guys facebook has a hierarchy inside of it like i mentioned before on the top of it we have the campaigns and after that we have the ad set so let's go ahead and edit our ads so for the conversion location you want to click on the website of course and then the performance goal is always going to be your maximize number of conversions for the data set on pixel it's good to go for conversion event make sure you have the purchase on and then for the daily budget strategy so my strategy is basically if you're selling a product that is worth 40 dollars then you want to then you want to set your daily budget at 20 dollars so half of it but if i'm selling a product that has a high ticket product for example it is a product that i can sell easily for around 200 dollars then i'm probably going to spend like 70 or 80 dollars on the ad campaign but in our case let's assume that we're selling a product worth 40 dollars so i'm going to go ahead and go with the 20 dollars which is already there and good to go now you can also schedule your ad as well i always like to go with the 5 a.m australian time it works perfectly for me but it depends on you if you want to change it you can go with the 4 a.m as well depending on you now for the audience is all good location okay so now we want to target different uh you know uh different locations for example you want to target uk or canada and all of that and guys remember who do you really want to target all of that is done at the asset level like on the campaign level you define what is your goal do you want to get sales you want to get awareness you want to get traffic all of that but at the asset levels you actually tell facebook that who do you really want to target whether you want to target men or whether you want to target women 
maybe the age between 21 to 65 with different different interests different backgrounds different locations all of that is done at the asset level so make sure you remember that okay so we have the location part here so i'm going to go ahead and cross this as well and then i want to search the location for example i want to also target canada as well here we are and then i also want to target australia as well that's how easy it is you can target multiple locations at once or even more than that as well it's really really cool now i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to go ahead with the minimum age which is 21 i always go with the 21 the reason for that is 18 year 19 year 21 20 20, 20 year old they don't really buy right so i always go ahead and click on the minimum age and set it to 21 and then for the languages if you are targeting you know the english speaking country for example canada uk australia then go ahead and click on the english language but in us you might want to go with the spanish language as well if your ad copies of course is in spanish but in the us i go with the english as well as the spanish right so after that the age is set the gender now let's assume that we are selling a beauty product now what you want to do is you want to click on the gender and you can change this as well so let me go ahead and change it it's actually on the woman's side but if you want to target men if you want to target all depends on you but let's assume that we're selling a beauty product so go ahead and click on woman right so that being said let us actually scroll down and for the platforms right so do you want to run your ad on facebook or on instagram I, I like to go with both. I like to click on Facebook and Instagram, but the rest of all, the audience network, the messenger, the threads, I just turn this off and they're not really useful, right? So that is done as well. Now, all right, guys, so here we are at the detailed targeting session. Now, this is where you can use Seller Trend to actually find the interest that matches with your product. So let's head over to Seller Trend. So this was a product that I picked. It's actually a beauty product. It's actually the ad in the handpick winners feature. Now this is one of those products that our experts have found and put on this very feature. Now this is a product that we think will do very well in the market. So if you want to try Seller Trend out, if you want to try Seller Trend to, to find different products, the link will be in the description. Go and check it out yourself. Now I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to go to the Facebook targeting and here we are with the interest. So the first one is a beauty. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go ahead and paste it here so the first interest is going to be the beauty the next one is it's actually going to be the beauty therapist copy that as well come here and go with the beauty therapist and the third one is actually going to be beauty therapy copy that as well come back and simply paste here that's how easy it is to actually use sell the trend to get your interests ready nice and simple so we have the three uh, interests ready that's it i don't uh, normally go beyond three but you can go ahead and, and, and go with a five as well, it depends on you. But I normally like to keep it at the three. So that is done as well. Next up is, you want to click on next because everything is set up. Remember guys, our gender is set up, our ages are set up, our locations are set up. We have also put in the interest as well. That All of that is set up. Even the ad budget is set up as well at the ad set level, right? Not at the campaign level, right? So I'm going to click on next. Okay, as you guys can see, we are moving down the hierarchy. So the first step was the campaigns. What is that you really want? What is your motive? What's your end goal? Do you want conversions? Do you want traffic? Do you want awareness? All of that is done at the campaign level. Next up we have is the ad set. So basically at the ad set, what we do is we, we tell Facebook that who do we really want to target? We want to target men, we want to target women, we want to target them at different locations, for example, in Canada, UK, USA, whatever, and then the interest as well. And remember, guys, we use seller trend to get ourselves the interest nice and easy, simply copy them and paste them there. Now now that we are at the ad level, which is a creative level. Now, this is where we actually put the videos, we put the ad copies, we do all of that at the ad level. This is actually one of the most important parts of your ad account, right? So here we are, and this is actually what your customers or your, of course, your audience is gonna see, right? When they see your ad, this is exactly what they'll see. So, ad name, I'm gonna go ahead and call it the first ad. It depends on you you can call it whatever you want just make sure you name it something that's easy to you know remember by and then of course you have your facebook page ready as well and then for the instagram account you want to connect your account if you don't have a lot of followers i wouldn't really say connect your account just go with your facebook page as well it's good to go but if you have your own account and it has a lot of followers then you can connect your account as well and then we have the ad setup create ad of course we're gonna click on create ad and then for the creative source we're gonna manually upload right so i'm gonna click on manual upload 
And then for the format, we're gonna click on, you know, we'll show your ad in the format we predict may perform the best. I go with the, the single image of the video, the carousel. If you have the carousel ad, of course, depends on you. And then we have the more settings. Scheduling, of course, is there as well. And then we have the destination pool. Give your website's link here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on www.mypet or in our case, it's actually mybeauty.com, right? And then we have the display link here as well. Enter the link you want to show on your ad. So look at this, guys. It's actually going to show like this. It's actually starting to uh, build up. No, we don't want to add any add-ons. And then we want to build a URL parameter. That depends if, if you if you want to build it. I really wouldn't recommend it. That's your main website links is good to go. And then we have the ad creative. Set up the creative. Now we can upload our video ad or image ad here. Now I'm going to go back to seller and to actually get the video ad. So here we are on seller trend this is the video that we want to use simply click download and our video is actually downloading nice and simple so let's wait for it to download all right guys so our video is actually downloading so what i'm gonna do till then is i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna click on the url so this is the url that your customers will land at so i'm gonna go ahead and give my website's name you can go ahead and give your, of course, your product page. That is, that will be your landing page. So I'm going to go ahead and type in this. Label, display by label for your link. That's completely fine. And you can upload your thumbnail here as well. For example, if you had any thumbnail, you can literally put it here. Uh, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and save this image as a thumbnail just for this video. So let's call it thumb. Right. So it's going to be saved at desktop save it nice and simple go back uh go to desktop and then we have our image right here it's actually uploading right so that's good to go now our creative setup is done now let's go to media so this is where you'll actually upload the video that you have actually downloaded from seller and just click on upload go to downloads and click the video upload our video is actually uploading on facebook all right so our video is done let's go to trim you can even trim your video on facebook as well that's really really cool so let's say we don't want to use all all of it then we can just simply you know trim it and click next and then we can you crop the image as well for example you want to crop it like this depends on you if you want to show all of it that's completely fine as well look at this this is how our ad will look so this is the original recommended and this is a square and this is the horizontal so we're gonna go with the vertical original of course then click next now it's time for us to get our text again I'm gonna use seller trend for that watch this here we are on seller trend click on Facebook ad and this is actually the Facebook ad which is done and ready to go copy this come back put it here this will be your primary text the headline you can use something like this this will be your headline primary text and for the description you can say something like this well you love it right so go ahead and put it here and call to action make sure it's always it's always is always shop now that is done as well now we have the enhancements now this is actually the Facebook uh, AI which actually wants to give us the visual touch-ups. The preview is actually, uh, you know, processing. Let's wait for it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Visual touch-ups, we don't really need that. Text improvement, we don't really need that as well. And for ad effects, ad art video effects, we don't really need that as well. Click done. And this is how our ad is going to look like. And this is how easy it is actually, guys. This is how easy. Look at this. This will be your Instagram straight. This will be your Instagram feed. This is going to be your Facebook feed. And it looks perfect. So yeah, that is literally it. You want to click on publish. And now Facebook is asking you for the ad information. Remember guys, do not put in your PayPal or your bank password. Never do that. Just always go with the credit card information. Trust me on this one, guys. If you put in your PayPal or your bank transfer, Facebook is going to give you the bad traffic. It's going to give you the bad audience, the audience that really won't buy. So make sure you're always giving Facebook your credit card details. Now, I have an ad credit to claim. Okay, simply click next. Add in your details. Once you do that, everything is going to be done and dusted. 
All right, guys. So once you give in your car details, your campaign is just gonna be turned on, right? So just giving your car details, your campaign is gonna be on. Everything is good to go, set to go. Remember, my rule is the 72 hour rules. I do not change or edit my campaigns for the first three days. I don't edit them. I don't try to scale them. I don't do anything at all. I just let them run for at least three days. That is the 72 hour rules. After 72 hours, I try to edit my you know campaigns i try to see that which uh, you know interest is working better and which interest is not so that is it how you can create your campaign successfully in 2025 and class with the help of seller trend you will get the interest you will get the ad copies now this is a bulletproof plan to actually create campaigns that will actually convert yes 100 these campaigns will convert because we have the right interest on seller trend because these interests are actually uh, sourced with the help of ai through Facebook's API. So it's very, very important to notice. Okay. All right, guys. So now that our campaign is live, I'm going to show you how you can create custom columns because that is really going to help you scale your ads to really track the data and just make info decisions. So let's do that. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and create our custom column. So simply click on custom performance, click on customize columns. And you, what you want to do next is you want to delete actions ad set all delete all of this just keep the delivery and budget there and you want to clear everything off now let's go ahead and create our custom column so the first thing you want to add is the impressions of course right and after that you want to add is the cpm and this one is actually at the cost by 1000 impressions and then you want to add the ctr which is actually your uh click through rate it clicks yeah this one actually you need don't don't pick this one always go with this one right and then we will go ahead and click on cpc which is actually our cost per click that is added as well and next thing we want to do is you want to go to landing landing page view yes you want to click that as well and after that what you want to do is you want to click and search add to cart and you want to click on total you want to also add value and cost as well and the last one is actually going to be our and the most important of course the purchases and there we are total value cost as well right so that is it guys that is our custom column now this column is actually going to help you make informed decisions everything is going to be there your cost per click is going to be there your ctr which is very very important your total impressions your cost per 1000 impressions everything is going to be there even your add to cost your purchases so this is how you can create your custom columns it's very nice and easy our campaign is actually live right now i hope this video is going to help you create your first campaign in 2025 and this campaign is actually going to be profitable now guys if you want to know about the app that i use to find the product and the ad that i use to get the ad copies and the interest well then the link will be in the description to sell it and there's going to be a 14 day free trial so you can go ahead and check out everything for completely free that's right you don't have to spend a single die so go and check it out all right guys so that is it for our video now if you want to learn how to find many products on facebook then you can watch our next video right over here stay motivated guys keep making those sales i'll see you in the next video